It has been more than two years since the epidemic started. Many things happened during that time. Up to now, worldwide, 385 million total cases have been recorded, 5.7 million deaths, and only 53.7% of the world is fully vaccinated. Social distancing not only created physical distancing, but also have a huge impact on mental interaction. As the world gets used to this life, it will be a hard challenge for people to get used to life after COVID-19, also known as the new normal. So what is new normal? According to dictionary.com, new normal is a current situation that is different from what has been experienced or done before, but it is expected to become usual. Therefore, in the post-COVID time, new normal is when the world is shifting from the old state to get used to the habits of fighting COVID, like washing your hands more usually or wear a mask at crowded areas. Not only that, in the new normal, there's a huge amount of innovations and technology in which vaccine is the most important. So getting used to the new normal actually requires a lot of efforts, right? And that is why I'm here to show you my, to show you my three-stage plan for me, for you, and for everyone to effectively returning to the new normal. And they are recover, rebound, and reimagine. The first stage is recover. At this first stage, Social distancing are gradually lifted. Life is back to normal. This can be a great time for people after a long time staying at home. However, with an increased demand for food and shopping, you can harm your health if you don't have discipline control. This subjectivity can also lead to the resurgence of the disease. Besides, each person will have a different rate of coming back to the new normal, whether fast or slow, people will be somewhat surprised to the new normal. At this first stage, people need to have for themselves strict plan and discipline to control and adapt themselves with the new normal at a pace that suits them. On to the second stage is rebound. At this stage, the problems of the society are almost solved. Most people now don't have much problem left, but there's a still, there's a still marginalized group that haven't keep up with the general development. So now we need to help them. But who is in this marginalized group and why do we need to help them? The marginalized group in the post-COVID time include the elderly and young children, the poor and unemployment, and the handicapped. Due to lack of health or inability to earn a living, these people have problems keeping up with the world. So why do we need to help them? This is the rebound phase to achieve the development. All of us needs to move together. Only one person can make the whole society develop together. However, too many social welfare and charity events, together we can't rebound. At this point, people will have accepted that the world cannot return to its old state. So this last stage, reimagine, is an extremely important final step. Why do I say we can't go back to the old normal? First, the old normal is old is in the past. Second, if we go back to the old normal, we will abandon all the development efforts have built in the previous two stages. Therefore, I believe we cannot and we should not go back to the old normal. What we need to do right now is to join hands in solidarity to create a better and more peaceful world, not going back to its old state, in other words, at this final stage, humanity needs to change its mindset about what we always think is normal in order to adapt to the new normal. Thank you for listening. If you have any question, please email me at the email on the screen. Thank you.